by Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Here's Anderson. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, keep busy. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Scored well up top. The Dragon's punch is far off the target. A headshot blocked. Back and forth exchange. Scored well with that straight left. The Dragon's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. He scored well after being hit himself. Kid Dynamite's really walking a tightrope here. I mean, that's a foul. That's a headbutt right there. He could get DQ. Zoning in with the overhand left. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. A stinging uppercut by the Dragon. He pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. The, the Dragon's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Left to the body. That's where you want to be. Doing great. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. The Dragon's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Scores with the combo to the head. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. The dragon's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. He scores with the left. So he decides to go downstairs early on. And I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came Come in here on, with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Really on the mark with that overhand left. The Dragon's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. The Dragon's left, landing well. Last 10 seconds. Good job, buddy. Keep your hands up, right? Keep your hands up. Nice work, 
on the inside. Good job. Keep that up. They land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? Jab your way, okay? And round number three is underway. Hey, 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 let's go! Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Work to the midsection with the left. Good combination to the head. The dragon's able to land a nice clean left hand. Left to the body. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keep moving, keep moving. Get you back off the road. Move those. Showing you some defense there with the block. All offense by Kid Dynamite. Turns on that exchange. The Dragon's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Locks it away. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And that does it for this round. You're not winning the round. I need you to start with the jam and then go on and go to the... Jab and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Get it. Let's turn this into a fight. Kid Dynamite's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. The Dragon's doing well here with that two-punch combination. He just missed that shot up top. Nice strike after catching one by the Dragon. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in. How about that left right there? Kid Dynamite's in a tough spot. Solid. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. The Dragon's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Targeting that straight left hand. A 
big hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. The Dragon showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Nice work with the left hand. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Did you see that? Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turns it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. And that's the end of round four. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or oh, he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yep. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the... And bang and away he goes. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? The ref is stopping this fight. Kid Dynamite's bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.